Fantastico. The mic falling all over the place, man. Keep it. Oh, it does. Hmm. That looks fine. I thought everything looked a little. Too dark, but that's all right. The Cradle of Punishment. What's that? I should just mean like the end of the game or what? That's it, man. I don't see anything else on it. Figured, yeah, that was just like a general go to the end of the game kind of deal. What you meant? Oh, we got bigly health now. Sucks. Oh, we can't get out this way. That also sucks.
I actually don't even know how to get the tree in. Other than having this briar thing. Maybe that's it. Maybe just having this deal finished is all I need. Sir. See what's to the right. No. Hello? Shout out to him. Oh, really, dude? Because he hit me, I couldn't fucking stab into the wall. Once again, it's all in spikes, man. Never died any bosses, just spikes. True evil.
<clears throat> Just to open up a path, man. Hey, what's up, Lassie? How's the projects going? Harvey stop for tonight. Sucks, dude. When did you get it? When did you get the game? <laughs> oh, okay. Castlevania? So that's what you mean. How was CV2? I've heard Belmont or Simon's Quest is pretty shit. Oh, really? Cool. Nice. Yeah, I need to play 1, 2, 3 still. I think the oldest Castlevania I've played was 4. I need to do like Rondo and. Dracula and shit like that, or whatever the fuck. One, two, three. I've been meaning to do it. Just haven't yet. Gonna be in the mood. Oh, that probably helps. I've heard in the exploration is where it's annoying. Oh, really? That's interesting. Maybe I'll just pull out like a PDF or picture or whatever of uh, the Japanese map for when I play. If they included it, who am I to say that I'm not going to use it? I've heard it's pretty, pretty painful. Bad translations, obscure bullshit. I'm sure the map's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet. My camera's just like really dark. Play that version. Kind of open this window up, and it was open on this monitor, and open on this monitor the first time. Like it, it, I had closed it on this monitor and opened it on this monitor last time, but then this time it's just not on the monitor. <laughs> I think my camera's just like fucking way too dark. Man. I mean, I'm in a dim room, but I hate that the camera's way darker than the room. It's because a shitty camera, when you have the exposure set higher, it like lags. Like, look at my hand here, and then I lower it, and the FPS on my fucking hand, like, like everything looks smoother. So I have to like gimp it <laughs> for some fucking reason, dude.
Huh. I'll have to think about it. On one hand, I sit here and talk to people about the games all day. So I feel like if I played a version they didn't play, it'd be kind of lost. But on the other hand, it seems like it's a way better experience. Huh? Like, do I want that classic feel? <laughs> Even though it's like wrong compared to the Japanese one, or it's a weird one. We'll see. Sounds better. This camera. I mean, I guess it's fine right now, but. I would prefer it like this, brightness wise. Then I'll turn down some other shit, but this problem, man, is so bad. Know how you fix that? I'll have to look it up at some point. Whatever. I mean, this is chill. Okay, one sec. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be useful. And it doesn't look like it's too telling. Oh great. I didn't have the random relic on. Gotta, for some reason, there's no permanent shit. You have to keep fucking swapping three items back and forth. Every two seconds. Horrible fucking game time. Just don't see why they bothered. Oh, that's the literal one? Okay. I thought it was just like based on it or some shit. That's cool. Nice, dude. I really like that. Yeah, it's, that's the best part of it for sure is the visuals. Did a pretty good job. I think it adds a lot to the lore and just the overall feel of the game. That kind of like super holy feel. It starts in the middle, right? Oh, Jesus. We'll say this game is pretty fucking tedious sometimes, though. Great looking game. There's some pretty annoying bullshit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll definitely look into doing it that way. Oh, 
I spend more time bullshitting around than fighting in this game. <laughs> I just won't let you do it that way. You literally just have to waste your fucking time instead. Thing is, I think this one's too high now. So I gotta go in here, pull down the fucking thing again, and warp again. It's funny how the quality of life stuff is what would make it easier. An interesting case for me. quality of life is like more than just quality of life. I mean, I guess having a map is a little bit more than just quality of life. Where can I move right now? What's up, Redless? Maybe being able to reread shit. And I know where the fuck you are. This is probably not how they actually intend you to do it. They probably want you to fucking go like all the way around and do all this crazy shit from like the left side of the map. Oh yeah? What makes you think it might not? Just general COVID shit or has there been rumors? Oh really? What the fuck? Wonder which ones will get prioritized then. Why is my L not working? <laughs> I fucking hit it like a hundred times in there. There we go. Jesus, that was annoying. The fucking dude who like knocks you back. Oh, a fucking area that's a bitch to get to. John Doe of the Three Sisters. Hmm. Well, I hope you get it, man. To help their up front about you not getting it on time. Like fall on spikes and die the game. That's like 
<laughs> the only way you're gonna die. <laughs> so fucking annoying, man. Oh, okay. That's good, then. Yeah. I don't know when I'll get one. I, mean, I will get one, I just don't know when. Uh, there's not, I mean, I'm interested in a few things at launch, but... God, he won't grab onto shit if you get hit, man. I can't go down and kill him, it would take fucking 10 hours. So annoying, dude. Spikes, spikes, spikes. Your potions are useless here, Trapper. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Only Demon Souls and Ratchet and Clank really look like I'd want to play them at launch. And I can wait on both of those. Wonder how long they'll be sold out though. If I do want to get one after like a few months or something. I don't know if they truly will have like big outage issues or that's just because it happened in last generations. People are just assuming. Oh yeah, I'll probably be playing that on last gen shit. Yeah, I think that's the last game even on my list this year. It's coming out. Like the latest release date. That I can think of. Ooh, <sighs> Oh, it is on PC? Yeah, unless it's on Game Pass, I'm just gonna play it on Xbox, probably. That makes sense. I mean, if you got one, why not? And how do I get to the one on the right? Like there's an area underneath me I want to fall onto, but I don't know if I can. can these dudes like shoot that guy? What's the point of these things, man? I mean, they do okay damage, but it's like... They just disappear after a few seconds. I mean, maybe they'll be good on bosses. Yeah. 
He lives. How does it feel to live? Of course I do, man. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they heal quite a bit when you upgrade them. You couldn't even upgrade them. What? They added that later? <laughs> really? It feels like a pretty big thing. I mean... I don't know. It's possible. It's this guy right here. The desecrated cistern. You sacrifice potions to make them stronger. I don't know if that's new or not. That's why I only have four. Although I'd probably rather have five and a little less power at this point. Because I pretty much heal my entire health bar. The potion. I'd rather not sit like super low to make use of my potion. Yeah, because that definitely sounds like a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not like it's not good to have just a bunch of potions. You couldn't upgrade. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. Then you're just slamming potions. You pretty much have to use the thing that makes you invincible when you're slamming glass. Yeah, because they don't do shit. Quicksilver. You spend a shitload of money also to do it. Which is annoying. What was this? A yeah, bit buggy. Because I don't even have enough money to upgrade myself. I think now there's a problem with having too little money. Like, I just don't have enough, dude. Yeah, that's pretty bad. They also added the ability to pay for the ability to warp to the pagodas or whatever. Which I feel like should just be in. Because that's what I do all the time. I just warp with those. I don't even use the actual warps because they're so infrequent. There's already, backtracking this game is already a huge pain in the ass, man. What was the whole point of that area? Just to see me suffer? We want to go turn these in. Yeah, 
that's pretty bad. I knew that this game would be one that you'd want to play like a year or more after it came out to get the real experience. I mean, it's cool they changed a lot of it, but I couldn't imagine this game being any more tedious than it already is half the time. I guess it was. Yeah, that was some weird bug. The lady, three penitents that communed with the miracle, clamored for her refuge and protection. Those souls for which she suffered have already departed to the other side of the dream. Has the holy commandment of my lady finished? Penitent one, whom shall I watch over now? The lady, three penitents, those souls has the holy penitent one. Apparently he goes somewhere on the rooftop, but I don't know where. And I have to give him this thing I have, otherwise he'll jump. I don't think I can get any more potions. I just wanted to see what would happen at the end of the potion strengthening guys like story. Like I would prefer five potions with less power at this point, but I don't know. So I don't want to I'll use them at like fourth health once killed boss. I'll just look up where this guy is. I'm not looking to linger on this shit forever. I don't know if this map will show anything. I don't really need the map. Oh, here it is. I thought I would need the map, but I ended up not really needing the map. <laughs> I kind of found everything for the most part. I spent like a minute before the stream cleaning up a few things. I think I did, yeah. I love the Mercy incarnate and her and her, the daughter of Mercy itself. How can I love the others more than holiness itself? The Order, I remember it. Its rule was my rule some time ago. My thoughts are forlorn, Penitent One. I need to pray. Thank you, Penitent One, in silence. It is my duty to watch over the others in the absence of Our Lady. The order awaits me. Thank you, penitent. Sure, dude. Yeah, I have, uh... This thing. I assume that's, that's it. Do I do something else, or do I just, like... 
finish out the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was good. We'll go do the bonus boss, I guess. Let me check out this place first. Yeah, got paid the big bucks. Penitent born in charity, this is my new home. And from here shall my vigil begin anew. Take these words I managed to transcribe from the voice of Our Lady amid suffering, so they can become a prayer which you can raise in her memory. The Order blesses you, penitent one in the righteous path. From all evil for a short time. The marriage thing. What's that? I don't know. Doesn't seem familiar, but maybe I did. Imagine I did. I gave the three items of to the church or whatever of the the dead girl. And he gave me a reward afterwards. And I did the three items down in the with the hairy egg. Okay, the hairy egg. Yeah, I just, I didn't remember the whole story on that. I just remembered it was the three hairy egg lady. Yeah, I got the... The... Knot of hair. your sword stronger is it mandatory okay. you have to get gnarled tongues I don't know I don't think you even need the red platform jump thing I mean I hadn't needed it yet I got to the end of the game <laughs> then I had to clean up. But... Yeah, I'm not sure. I really think that they should have made those mandatory and made it more obvious and then not had them be toggle. I definitely think this could use a few bit more like actual movement mechanics or something, man. Some more Metroidvania type of shit. Or, if you're gonna just go all in on the combat, make, you know, the moves actually useful. Most of these moves kind of just blow. I don't use the charge, but I just use the slide. 
I don't think I've used the combo finisher once. They're so pricey, I don't, I'm not even gonna have them by the end of the game, even though I've got the fucking thing like 100% at this point. And it's just for New Game Plus. I definitely think the donations to the church, for how important that is, is way too expensive. Also, I still have a few more things to buy from the shops. But, I don't know. I'm not gonna 100% it. I'm just gonna get everything within reason. I'm not gonna grind. Sounds really shitty. Okay, well, let's do the optional boss. Maybe. They let me. Might have to go kill another boss first. Yeah, I'm just using it just to use it, but the default palette seems like the best so far. I don't know what the other ones look like, but I don't know. I feel like the main one just looks solid. That shit in the back of my throat. <clears throat> Alright, this might only be on that special difficulty, I'm not sure. Thought you could just do it on this, but information online about this game is shit. You get so much. Mixed bullshit. That's funny, what, can you not even 100% the map then? to kill the four ominous cedars. Huh, so is that a true torment only? I think it might be. I don't like that. Why is it on New Game Plus only and true torment? Oh yeah, you have to go to that fucking underground area, so. You don't even keep that many things, dude. Monday Game Plus. I mean, you do, but like... Yeah, I'll sit down. Yep, never mind. I guess we're just gonna go towards the end of the game. I'm not replaying it. Just to fucking fight some new bosses they couldn't end in the main game. I mean, that's cool, there's some replay value there, but. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I don't see why I really couldn't be in the main game, but. It's not quite as silly as Hollow Knights, I guess. We have to do like entire boss rushes just to see like one new boss.
Oh yes, I'd like to check out some lore. But wait. First you have to toggle some relics. <laughs> Thank you. Penitent one in sleeplessness. You carrying the guilty sword, you have committed the most serious crimes against the mother and her saints, against the miracle and its outbreaks. We have been entrusted with putting an end to uh, your mission. Definitely. I, Chrysanta in penance, excommunicate you, expel you, execrate you. With the blessing of our well, miracle from of the, the greatest pain. And thus shall your name be erased under the heavens. Whoops. <laughs> Hit the wrong button there. I was like, oh, I'm going to do a quick block. I just totally wasted one of those at the beginning, which sucked. Might not one shot this one because of that. I was hitting the parry button, I totally just hit L1 instead of L2 for some reason. Pretty much, man. Yeah, I would have won if I had another potion. Jesus, the fucking quadruple combo. That sucks. Totally wasted it for no reason. <clears throat> like right at the beginning of the fight. Yeah, hopefully that comes out next year. I imagine it will. This time, don't hit L1. I hit all the buttons except L1. I want to hit that. <laughs> And one in sleeplessness, carrying the guilty sword. You have yeah, committed the I'm most definitely... serious crimes. Hollow Knight's combat's really simple, but I think it worked well. I think the bouncing outbreaks. gimmick and stuff like that, and we have been entrusted with how that works with the platform and the enemies they made. I, I, know, I just think it's good. In penance. And thus shall your... Hopefully, I don't lose that. Here's a really slow attack.
You go with that other shit. What? I even jumped, man. <gasps> Two hours later. Can I ever actually attack her again? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> this boss is kind of shit. Is this her final form, dude? But she just does the fucking bullshit every time. That was a pretty whatever boss, dude. Oh, boomerang! Purge my soul, bitten by the miracle. She's a little hammed up, even for this game. Why did she say that randomly afterward? It's the old lady. What you seek lies at the that which proclaimed itself the true and holy truth has long been hiding there, behind those doors. The affliction itself laments in its own confusion and deformity. The journey has been long, but your task is about to be completed, although I have been barred from entering such a slanderous abode. These words are free to accompany you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Boomerang. I'm gonna change the skin back. Like, yeah. I do it here. I feel like the game's bosses are too easy. For the idea what they're doing. I mean, I don't mind that you get like strong and shit, but I don't really have to get like too good at them. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine, but I think it just sucks because you end up dying more from like obstacles. Like, where you just died from, like, everything would be one thing, but, like, you don't really... Like, at the very beginning, you croak on some stuff occasionally, but it's really just, like, silly spike shit, or falling in pits. Whatever. Maybe this guy'll be hard. In my dreams, I heard your footsteps coming closer. In my dreams, I tried to talk to you and introduce myself. Guardian of the miracle and of the miracle banner, with great pain, I carry the emblem of the Father. I am the hands of bloodied skin. I am the eyes from which your mother gazes. But nothing I know of you Apart from your cold, nameless visage, apart from your calloused and wounded hands, apart from the mourning of your deaths, no, I know nothing of you, 
Only the miracle knows. It's Jerry Seinfeld under the mask. Huh? Now may oh. your sword, full of guilt, with mine of gold, collide. Let them hurt and march in procession. I curse you forever in name. I bless you forever in death. the mirror in which you saw me asleep. Now you see me awoken as the son of the true mirror. But this isn't even my final religious form. Behold the ultimate power of the Bible. That guy felt simple enough where you have to fight him probably every single time you fight this guy. Let me up. <laughs> the swag. Fucking potion finisher. Oh. Is he leaving? This isn't even my holiest one. Behold, Drew Bauer. <laughs> Fucking like Cupid's finished him off. Well, I was sucking on an invincibility potion, man. Oh, is that it? Yeah, it's really good. Pelican effigy. It's solid. And it's good if you had a lot of potions, because then you get just die frame shit. But it's also good if you don't have a lot, because if you don't have a lot but they're really strong, you only want to heal when you're really low health. So like this guarantees you'll get it off. You have freed his holiness from his afflicted torment. 
And now he walks by the old processions on the other side of the dream. The cradle of the grievous miracle. The final relic. The grail of blood and gold that emanated from the forehead of the father as he silently lamented the moment. Yeah, of that's his blessed twist. probably the best way to call it. Best thing to call it. I just noticed he had bloody knees, probably from praying or whatever the fuck. That yeah, first yeah. relic is here, at the top of the ashen mountain, next to the turned throne where his holiness he suggested his nuts. By a miraculous pain. And now, your final communion with the miracle awaits. Only you will be able to know how much of it has seeped into your guilty heart. Now you are the Lich King, Arthas. You just sink instead of reaching it? You just walk up and get fucked? Don't even make it? That's kinda lame. me out and put me under some shit but what exactly did we just achieve we're just another one of those trees like that other guy the first dude So they were trying to break free of the miracle, but I guess it didn't work. <laughs> Who knows? Man. There is no place for the penitent one on the other side of the dream. His place is here among us. He is the new father and the last son of the miracle. of our prayers forever and ever I am God yeah um I mean I think it's good overall but I just feel like it's just missing some stuff yeah like, it looks great. I think the lore is cool. I like how they talk. I like how it sounds. How it looks. I think it all lends itself into the world building the lore pretty well. Like, like I wonder what, you know, some of the lore is and shit. Like, I actually give a shit. Um, this is some slow credits, dude. <laughs> I guess we'll let it go here. Oh. Times eight. Um. Times 16. 32. Okay, we don't have to go that far. But, uh... <laughs> I don't mind the pointy hats. I need to get used to it, yeah. I do, I like the really kind of like... I keep saying Dante's Inferno, but that kind of like, almost like, you know, very old classical, like, depiction of like hell, almost. That's kind of how everything looks. Done souls. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I think the gameplay... I think for something that's almost 
all combat, I think how fucking like, um, I think that there's really, not that, I mean, the parry only works on some dudes, it's very iffy. Like, you can parry guys and counter them, but usually you just get thrown away or it just doesn't work. So you're mostly dodging, which is fine, but it's like... I don't know. And like, you have all of these moves, but almost none of them feel good to do except the slide. So you end up just spamming that. You get these different spells, but you can only choose one at a time, and they're very expensive. So you just pick one or two, which that isn't that big a deal, but... I mean, even stuff like fucking Donna Sorrow has multiple you can use, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. So there's not really build variety, which is fine. It doesn't have to build variety, but there's not really... Even when they give you these choices, it's not that different. Like, it's mostly just stat items you get uh, for customization. And I just feel like it's... I don't know. It's fine, but I think there could have been more movement options, more actual world exploration items having them be completely optional and pretty easily missable for the longest time oh yeah i like that one a lot more alien foreman i got the lifted one too dude <laughs> i need to get i need to put some more of those on there yeah, him in Warrior Land 4 is awesome. It's just him before every boss fight, he just starts lifting iron and shit. Or he beats him up. He's got one with a barbell that's pretty good too. But, but yeah, I don't know, I feel like there could have just been... I don't know, for something that's purely focused on combat, I just feel like... Even though the combat's fun enough, it's mostly cool because of how rewarding it is visually. Like, it's got really, it's got tight controls and shit. Like, you can, you know, cancel out of any attack, and it feels good, but... Well, pretty much what you got at the beginning is what you got at the end. And I feel like most of the enemies are fine, except the flying types. But the basics, I don't know. I think the game's, like, way too easy. I thought the game was supposed to be, like, a lot harder. And not just like a hoo so badass, like... Like, it sucks, like, you pretty much only die to, like, falling in pits and spikes. And that kind of just feels silly. And I get there's like, man, who would put a tracer eye thing on their face, dude? But, uh... <laughs> I don't know, this guy. He's, he's thinking hard about stuff, but... I don't know how to place these are. But, uh, anyways. I don't know. I mean, I like the variety of areas. I don't think there's really, like, that many bosses. And since most of them are, like, you can kill them in one hit or one sh try. I don't know. The bosses were good. But, yeah. I don't know, in something like Hollow Knight, you get a lot of, like, movement. There's a lot of other things going on, so they can make more bosses that have more shit happening, right? And this, it's like, at the end of the day, you're just walking around, and you get one dodge, otherwise, like, that's it, man. Like, I mean, like, at the end, I have to, like, jump up platforms and all that wacky shit. There's not any, like, cool stuff. My first names? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because it's fucking Spanish, man. It's different. Yeah, I think it's... It's hard to really just get down, like... It doesn't feel, like, insanely much better than... A lot of Metroidvanias, but... It's still good. I think some of the quests... 
and a lot of the side stuff. I know they're trying to make it like Dark Souls secrets and shit, but they're kind of just like either really tedious, like the one where you gotta go kill three dudes across the world, or just insanely vague for like semi-important stuff, like actually being able to explore the world and find stuff, like it could be a little less vague. It's definitely one of those games like, I don't like looking shit up, but like, you just gotta look shit up. It's not obvious at all. Daniel, 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 Daniel. <laughs> Chris, small Chris. Cause the FPS goes wacky when we start going more than like times four the So yeah, I'd say I liked the story, I liked the lore, the world building, the visuals. I think the music was different, although I couldn't tell you the difference between any of the Zone songs. I think there was one song with the three ghost chick that was a little different, that was nice, but... It's fitting music for sure, but if you're looking for like a, you know, some bangers or something, it ain't gonna happen. I just feel like some of the pacing of how you get certain items, some of the world exploration, <clears throat> and some of the just tedium and shit is just kind of its issue. And just lack of like good mechanic, man. They really could have just made it so there was like just more just sword abilities, man. Like the ones you got suck. Like, not being able to charge and move? That's like old as fuck, why not have that? Then you'd actually use charge, because then you could prep it for when a boss is like, you know, when, during dead time, during bosses, that's why it's cool. There's no reason to use charge otherwise. Seems like complete shit. I mean, you literally just use the slide move and that's it. Anyways, yeah. Let's crank this up. Lady Godlike. Is that your real name? Cool name, dude. MC Plumley. It's cool that they changed stuff in New Game, or not again. It's cool that they've patched in a lot of shit. I think having to pay 20k for warps is pretty annoying, and I couldn't even upgrade everything by the end of the game even if I wanted to use the moves. Lost some danger powers. That in there, dude. Lost it. Danger. I watched cold memories. Yeah. <sighs> I need to watch one and two again. This hurts your eyes to look at because it's so like choppy and weird. Let's get the X names, man. Zabi. Javier. Zhao. Zanda. Iago. Big Droid. Zane. Yeah. This is fun though. I can't repeat myself, I don't really know how to think about a lot of it. Yeah, uh, like I said, I guess it's cool they've patched in and changed a lot of stuff. I mean, they've changed some big stuff, like being able to upgrade your potions and all that. Maybe that kind of killed some of the balance, I'm not sure. They said they adjusted a lot of other stuff. I'd hate to see how tedious it was otherwise, because the levels, you don't move through shit and quickly. Thus shall your name be erased under the heavens.
Is this the same chick again, dude? What do I care about here? Yeah, that just sounds really shit, the healing. In this, it's like, you just heal once and you can keep on him. I think it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that sounds bad. I don't know, and not being able to warp everywhere, like, the thing with this game, in the lack of movement mechanics, and there not being that many warp points, is most of the, like, a lot of the game is mostly obstacles and platforming. Like, so it's very slow to get through areas. You won't just walk through an area, you'll, like, ass through an area, you know, like, zigzag through an area. It's just, like, it just takes a really long time to do stuff, and when the ways to get 90% of the side items are, like, in hidden quests, you're gonna have to go back and do a lot of stuff again. And, I don't know. That would have been really bad if they, you could not warp anywhere. I mean, they don't even tell you, you have to look that up. That I have to donate 20,000 to the fucking church to warp on any save point. I don't know. I get the soul shit. The, you know, it's like vague mystery. I'm all for the games not telling you shit and you just figure stuff out. But there's a difference between just being able to figure stuff out and just straight up, like, not having fucking, like, good, clear mechanical shit happening. This isn't like a, some like witness or something where that's the whole goal is to figure it out or like Outer Wilds or something like that. This is a game where you beat stuff, you unlock shit to be able to do other stuff. Like A little more up front would be okay. No, that one looks like it could be cool. Probably not, but. Ooh. Yeah, so apparently there's like four or five bosses in New Game Plus. That's really cool, because that's like almost all the fucking bosses in the main game. <laughs> How many bosses are there in the main game? Like... Ten, maybe? The first one's a joke that you refight later. There's like a mini boss, I guess. Like big crazy bosses, there's like seven or eight. Five new ones? It's cool, but it sure sucks it's only a new game plus tournament mode, man. I'm not looking to do it again, man. Yeah, let's watch those again. What I wanted. <laughs> I've been skipping for- oh yeah, the hold skip, because why would I ever- not want to skip that instantly. That's fine. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't quite like Axiom Verge when it comes to side stuff where you just can't get any of it and none of it's useful. Like, there's some pretty good stuff you get. But. I don't know. Good game. That was fine. I don't think it was amazing though. I mean, they could probably do with cut down on some of the weird TD shit, but whatever. I don't really know what else to say about it. I'm not really having like a discussion or anything. I'm just kind of trying to figure out why I'm not like super duper into it. I think if it didn't have as good of visuals and like lore and stuff, like atmosphere, it would not be very awesome. It's not really long either, huh? I mean, I think it's a fine enough length. I don't know how much they charge for it. 